Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Older Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. But right now, we're still at the war with, uh, not Kaisar's Legion, but Aurelius's Legion, who I guess took over since Kaisar went bye bye. Um, regards to the casualties, we've done a pretty good job so far, uh, but this is going, we're struggling a little bit more than I imagined that we would, so we're still struggling here. That's alright, we're still gonna keep pushing and doing well. Um, we did push all the way through pretty much, well, at least a good chunk of two sons, former Ranger territory, of course, um, with the Tone of Nation, but. I'll get another division zooms I'll deal with in just a little bit. Um, also, the Thunderbirds apparently had a war goal against us. So, we had to prepare for them, but then we said no. Um, because actually, the White Legs joined the Khazar's Legion faction, which does suck for us. So, we're struggling here, but we're not, like, losing. We're just not winning. But, I've done quite a few focuses, and we have a few comms to go through as well. So, so let's see. Mossman's army. Ranger General Mossman is something of a disdain for the average soldier in the NCR and views him as an awkward blunt tool, better for pinning an enemy down than actually accomplishing anything in the particular. To this end, he believes in the expansion and increased importance of the Rangers, and instead puts much of his funding towards improving them, the new Ranger Corps. This increased funding, diverted from that is usually given to the NCR's common army, has had a noticeable impact on the Rangers in general. Superior facilities and the lion's share of able bodied recruits has enabled them to grow in number and quality, with propaganda stating again and again that the Ranger Corps has never been stronger. Ranger leads. Rangers are, above all things, special forces capable of infiltrating reconnaissance. Ranger General Mossman employs a relatively simple approach to a large-scale engagement, one that involves using rangers to scout ahead of a main body of infantry in order to assess the ideal location for an engagement and encounter any and all movements that enemy might make. Can openers. <coughs> Ranger General Mossman, like many within the NCR Rangers, feel that the Brotherhood of Seals are easily the most dangerous that the NCR faces to the state. A thorn in the side of the Republic who uses their advanced technology to bully the common folk of the NCR. To this end, special drills and tactics are being developed by the Rangers, informally referred to as can opener techniques. Soldiers of Seth. The founder of the Rangers, Seth, always fought for liberty, equality, and prosperity. We honor his legacy and will always be there when the people call. Big Jim Army. Big Jim is not a particularly complicated man when it comes to tactics. He values bravery and loyalty in his troops above any particular strategy or methodology. In many ways, this makes Big Jim's army overwhelmingly inflexible, but at the end of the day, the introduction of simple drills once taught to him by the Desert Rangers should allow the NCR's average soldier to rise in new heights. Infantry drills. As odd may seem, one of the first things that Big Jim elected to do after being appointed as leader of the NCR's military was to reinvent the wheel when it came to the incredibly rudimentary infantry drills. The integration of simple squad tactics and more complicated marksmanship and urban assault tactics should have a marked improvement on the average soldier in the NCR's military. Military march. The marching drills of Big Jim will be met with a resounding frustration from the average soldier, who loathes the idea of marching for days on end even after one has met the physical requirements. The point of these exercises is to increase the overall mobility of infantry as a unit, rather than individuals. The standardization of mobility and increased mileage on foot soldiers is a great boon. The Big Jim Draft. The Big Jim Draft is something for a few people actually expected to see, as many of the NCR feel that conscription is one of the leading issues in the relation to the quality of NCR's military forces. Yet, as Jim's doctrine stresses the importance of overwhelming numbers of high quality infantry, the need to enlist more men and women, willing or otherwise, is a necessity. And combined arms. The NCR's victory will not just be based on the heroism of its soldiers, it will be based on its tactics and training, the ability to leverage industrial superiority in war. And demo companies get 50% more, uh, percent more attack and defense. Gunrunner licensing. Um, I think I read this one earlier, maybe, but granting the gunrunners an unofficial monopoly in the Republic's territory will bind the company to the Republic. For what is good for the army is good for them, and vice versa. The then graphs make a play, but they should have rather worrying the fine print. Blast from the past. I like this one. The NCR is in many ways equivalent to some of the pre-war America's armies. Um, among the similarities, the ability to destroy he or deploy heavy weaponry. Cards can throw all the machetes wielding troubles at us, we'll teach them about enfilating, enfilating fl fire and heavy artillery. The Brotherhood's power armor is the finest in the waste, Too bad I cannot stand up to a Hauser from half a mile away, which would be very nice. Um, other than that, we've done pretty much all the other focuses. We can fund the Mojave Crimson Caravan. So many control over the divide has been invaluable. But now we can fund a true caravan route between the Mojave and NCR. No longer will our spawns be dependent on the random caravan groups. And other than that, I think I've done pretty much them all, but we can talk about interstate highways. Just as ancient America was knit together by its roads, shall, so shall California. Let us build a highway to connect the states of the Republic. The green shoots. The modernization of the Republic's economy continues apace, and the economic boom continues. Things are better than ever, and anyone can get a job at a mill if they want. It, it, why should we call to the farmer who can't keep up? They'll make more money down at the factory. <clears throat> Incipient industrialization. For 150 years, California's economy was based on small crafts, small scale craftsmanship. Farming and scavenging, but under Kimball, the Republic, the NCR is turning into an industrial state. Let Hayes pursue the science of 2076. We'll walk the road that took America there. And across the Great Divide. Oh, look at that. Uh, call Kimber the Builder to the river deep and wide. Under his administration, the Mojave has finally been open to the Republic. And I think there's this one too to do. The Rangers return to Arizona. Um, we may control any state in uh, Arizona, which would be nice. 
But, some comments included, I have a question, are you going to play as the Enclave again in this new version of Old World Blues? On this channel, it's kind of tradition that I do uh, an Enclave Reborn campaign every single time Old World Blues gets updated, so we'll see, maybe. And someone says, or asks, which way will we go? He said, he will go with the people. Someone else says, he'll go with the people as well. But that's we're going to go with Aaron Kimball and, I uh, guess, simply, the people. So, the Bears armor. Perhaps staying in the bunker for years blind of the eyes of the Brotherhood. We're not a fledgling Republic that he helped in Navarro. We'll not take orders from tech warning ra raiders regardless of what they call themselves. If they want power armor, our power armor, they should come and grab it. Confront the Steel Menace. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel has been a continuous sword in their side for ages, stamping down the throat of the NCR, stifling the torch of liberty as the flames spread across the desert. They won't tread on us for long. And, let's see, we don't own flagstaffs. So we can't quite do that one. But other than that, I think that's pretty much all the focuses that we're currently able to do, so I'll see you when we're closer to beating up the Legion. Now, I apologize for doing this, but, uh, uh, well, I did most of the war already off screen. I mean, it just took so god awfully long. Two, it's 2285 right now. And, uh, yeah, this sucked. Um, yeah, this really sucked. Holy crap. I'm trying to fight the White Legs, all of the Legion fully intact. No Civil War anymore, or at least for this one. I entered Del Sol, two sons, which actually capitulated by themselves, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah. Lanius was absorbed by Aurelius' Legion, took out the Navajo. As you can tell, we're trying to take out the Iron Alliance. And so it's justifying us. The Thunderbirds are justifying against us, so... We have that to do with, deal with as well. But other than that, could have been worse. Um, Special Forces did really well. Holy crap, all those buffs, especially with deploy the cannons. Very, 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 very nice. So... Yeah, it just it was a slog. Just trying to get over here. Just trying to get this done. Huge slog. Oh, uh, before hold up, let's pop quick. Here's some casualties first. Uh, obviously, everyone else is dead, but like 300,000 have died, especially the White Legs and Early Legion. Legion. Which actually is not too bad considering that. Hey, it's a crap ton of manpower. We have not lost that many guys. In all honesty, we've lost 21,000. We got way more manpower right now, which is probably because we have a lot of non core population, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's been. Oh, I've been doing this for like an hour or two. Literally an hour, two hours, probably off screen. So it just takes so long. But we finally got him. Finally, finally, finally got him. I haven't done any other focuses as well off screen. So, uh, let's go into this. Thank you. This was god awful. But I do want to try out the Legion to see if there any sort of update as well. Because there was no Civil War this time. And the Legion was actually very strong. Of course, they did have very powerful allies. But, you know, whatever. <coughs> Alright, so... The bear's ind indigestion. Although the NCR prevailed over the Legion, it now faces a new problem. What did it do with the new Farpunk Dominion? Arizona, New Mexico, and the lands beyond were never united before the Legion. Is, it, is the NCR going to administer the vast empire? Who can table wilderness of immense? Oh, plus 80% resistance. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's a lot of resistance. Uh, I'm going to put you guys probably over here. Since you guys want to do stuff over here. What do you have? Prove handling wrong. Oh. Cool. So, go with. so let's do this. The Shining City of the Waste, maybe? To do. The Waste on the Shining City New Vegas now lies within our grasp. We only have to break a few trees and soon be ours. Or, I'll do Modern Warfare as well. Waste on bus. The Bull's Demise, or Demence. Legion is only a power that could rival or even shadow the Republic. Despite their defeat, many Legionnaires so oppose the rule conduct clandestine activities in their newly conquered territories. Cannot declare wars. Oh, crap. Well, we already have. Oh my god. Oh. That's not good. We do have a lot of compliance already. 0.5. Is it going to go up to 0.6 maybe? No. 0.7. Wait, 0.7. 72.7. Still going up. And resistance will be going down, but... Holy crap. 60,000 things of... Uh, infantry armor needed. Holy fathers. That's insane. Um, yeah, as you can tell, we built, we built this area up a lot. <clears throat> Um, yeah, we're trying to use infantry armor, but that's a lot we don't have. And we're really trying to crack down at 1535. Not bad. Take a while to get rid of. Cast looking pretty bad. Infantry equipment, we got 400,000 pieces of infantry equipment, so we're feeling pretty good about that. We got a lot of political power that I forgot to spend. Prepare the next turbine, might as well. Um, oh, what? The Western 8. Oh, are these guys considered the Western 80s? Go into the gate. I, mean, I guess. Huh. Well, all right. Well, it says we can win here, so we might as well try. Especially since we want to flood through here, anyways. 
my god, trying to get through here is going to be god awful, especially with losing all this equipment. Jesus Christ, we're not going to be able to make it in time. So we got to do the best we can on this side, I guess. Yeah, guys, we want to come in through. That's fine. Um, some goods, sure, why not? Procurement of things, we kind of close that one out. How much money do we have? Oh, 2100, that's nice. Development projects? Not bad. Um, actually, at this point, we still do this. Even this. We're going to rally support. We're probably going to blow them up. So after that one, um, the one about New Vegas maybe? Modern Warfare as well, Wasteland Bus? Nothing can stop a Chrysalis Highwayman, and nothing can stop our new post-war replicas. As such, we're all very impressed by the Legion's machetes and healing powder. Perhaps they will be impressed by our mechanized battalions. Oh, they're flooding through here too. God dang it, come on. Stop taking so long. Actually, if anything, you guys. Really, I would like to have it so that we could just... Well, first of all, so they won't be flooding through our capital. Um, just one solid front line and just push that way, but, you know, I'm lazy. Should have green air. These barrage balloons are actually, I think, a little bit too effective. Because they're, they're disrupting pretty much every single time we have planes in the air. And it's actually very, very annoying. <clears throat> How strong are these guys? 76 divisions, that's not bad for them. <coughs> oh my god, it sucks so badly. Plus 80% is insane to add. Especially once we have so much compliance already. This is annoying. This is very annoying. They finally go to war with us after we have the stupid little war. Um, all these guys. I wish you could fire leaders. It makes no sense to have these guys. Except for this one. Um, when they can't do anything. You can only like lead two divisions. You're useless. You're literally useless. I'm going to give that to you anyways. So. L literally worse than useless. This is some very weird odd music. Kind of sounds kind of scratchy. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, yeah, this is, this is god awful. Uh, not the music, not the music, but like the whole resistance stuff. Uh, here. Really put down a lot of resistance. Really hammered home. 82.9 drops down to what? 0.8. Great. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Got a lot of ship stuff done. It's nice. Um, still haven't gotten those pills yet, but whatever. Uh, keep going, guys. You're doing great. Doing great things. Keep on moving. Um, yeah. Oh, see, Reno. Reno's status of the Republic stretched back in the days of Tandy. Now is a chance to bring that great scene to the Republic. Modern Warfare. Can we not do Modern Warfare? Oh. Oh, that was just auto-completed. We're, we're still doing the other focus on that. Why can't we do it? This is incredibly annoying and stupid. Temple of Servos. I mean, raided from the Sky Reavers. They already raided us once. I'm gonna burn them to the ground. Bulls Dements. The two. Modern Warfare. Very nice. We're not fighting you guys, are we? No. That's what I thought. <coughs> Beta Arizona. Republic's tribunals. Oh, yeah. We will still hold fair trials for the Legion members, despite everything they have done against the Republic. Republic's tribunals will judge every case in a swift manner, starting with the high-ranking high officials. Stop with this stupid front system. And this is not an oral blue scene. This is a paradox thing. Stop it. Stop. 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 For the love of God, stop putting us with... Put a front line against enemy that we're not fighting. We have no intention to fight. Here you go. You're just going to get encircled and killed. I mean, there's no point for you to be here. What are you going to die? Go die. Oh my god. This is so bad. Why? Why? I mean, the divisions are literally going to die here because of all this god dang resistance stuff. This would have doesn't make any sense. Plus 80%? Why is it 100% then? That literally makes no sense. Maybe set it at 80. Don't add just 80, but set it at 80. That makes more sense. 
than what's currently available. But you know what? I'm not the devs. Um, especially once you just go through the area where you pacified it already to a degree. I think you should be a, based off a percentage. I hate this so much. I hate this. Get out of here. You, um... Come over here. No. Can you do that? Yeah. It's hard to tell. Some of these rivers are really thick. It almost looks like impassable terrain. They need to, like, make it so that impassable terrain looks a little bit uh, less like... Ooh. That's, that's still fine to do. I have it so it looks like less like impossible terrain. Because it looks way too similar right now, in my opinion. Way, 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 way too similar. Guys. Oh my god. Just go in. Jesus Christ. Go. Come on. This is infuriating, though. Because divisions will literally die. If they have way too much resistance, and which makes no sense. 0. 0.6, 0. 0.4, yeah, those divisions are going to die there. Why, why do they just spawn on another front line? It doesn't make any sense. Go, 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 go. Huh, <laughs> that motorized died because they deserve to die. Well, you know what? At this point, just camp right here. Because, uh, way less resistance than being around here. Modern Warfare. Come on. God, the game is so laggy now. Our uh, Republic's Tribunals. There we go. I hate... Why? I hate this mechanic so much. Get rid of it. Get rid of the whole raiding situation. It's so annoying. I complained about that before, and I'll continue to play, complain about that. That's so incredibly infuriating. Every single time. We have to deal with some sort of stupid raiding. It doesn't make any sense. Would you really try to raid us right now? Maybe. But, come on. Oh, I can't play wars either. Dang it. God, that's so annoying to deal with. You should be able to, like, bully enemies and saying, like, you know what, you're not going to raid us. We are way too strong for you. Blow them up. They didn't get there in time. This was not thought through. It was completely not thought through. Uh, Centurions no more. Legion's collaborators. That's 60 days. Yeah. <laughs> Legion have many cellular collaborators who enjoy the protection and abated them in their war machine. While punishing them for protection is not the best idea, we can punish a few officials to remind them who's in charge now. I hate these Thunderbirds. I hate the 80s. No matter who they are, I hate the 80s. I'm sorry, I'm turning quite negative in this video right now, but, like, Jesus Christ, it, it, it's been... There's definitely some decisions that could have been adjusted. We did lose a quite a few planes doing this as well. Yeah, those barrage balloons, they are extremely effective. They're not, I'm not going to call them overpowered, but they're way, way, way too effective for what they really are. Resurgence <clears throat> is nice, but those don't really matter at all. empty-handed. How do you return empty-handed? Charles Loring. Yo, you're, you're useless. You're useless. I wish... Can we can we fire these leaders? I mean, please. Please. Please let us fire leaders. I don't want the leaders that are this type of garbage. Come on. Hurry up. There we go. That should help out, right? Should be a lot better. Thank God. Oof, thank God. We've got someone else we can use. That's not terrible. Tugboats. 
control boats. Oh, hey, they, okay, they died. Not bad. Automon's putting some territory with us and bone dancers, but they're not getting that much from us. Um, yeah, that's all they get. Rocket launchers, that's fine. You guys come over here. They might want to go to war with us, we'll see. You know, you never know. That's fine as well. This is so bad. Yeah, adding plus 80% resistance, not, not the greatest idea I've seen. Right, let's do that too. Legion's collaborators, Centurions no more. We finally limited the last few Centurions that remained in our lands with the Centurions gone. Remaining Legion cells would evolve into petty gangs devoid of any leadership. I get why it's here, and it takes time to do this, but at the same time, we've already eliminated a crap ton of resistance. But, like, come on. Seriously. Some places already have 100% compliance. Or very close to it. I understand why it's a focus. I don't know. I might prefer this as decisions, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. That's a good thing to bring up, maybe. I'm sure the devs were thinking, like, do we want to make pacifying decisions? I'll put in a focus and then put uh, stuff like that there. So, I can see why the devs have struggled maybe a little bit trying to figure all that one out. Still struggling here, huh? Well, Lone Tree Believers. Lone Tree's looking pretty good. Standing Rock, Stormtroop, Stroop, no, no, Stormmongers, not Stormtroopers. So, uh, someone else says, uh, from another comment from yesterday, please play Zonclip again. Uh, so, someone else asks, how well do you understand the trade note route system? Uh, I understand it to a degree. Uh, let's take a look. That's organizational stuff, I don't really, you can just ignore that for the most part. Um, Uncord States, here's all Uncord State stuff. Isn't there, where's the trade node map mode? Uncord States. Officer Corps. Um, usually there's... Huh. Trade routes, of course. You can try to upgrade this, but I don't want to waste political power with that right now. Uh, economic precision is fine. Doesn't really matter. Repair the next turbine. That's okay as well. Rally support. Let's start really pissing them off. Um, where are we at with this? Army of the Republic's very nice. Looks very nice. State of the economy. Uh, tensions. Actually, brown bear. We need more than three military factories, and 100% tension. So, I think we can work on that. Why not? Holy crap! Is it laggy? God, overall blues has gotten incredibly laggy. It is. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's bound for any mod to get laggy once it's been seriously developed. Oh my goodness. How many millies do, do we actually have? Oh, 200. Nah, that's not bad. We could get to 300 maybe. Need more tension, but we'll work on that. Keep pissing them off, you know. And I'm sure we could use way more infantry armor anyway, so. Yeah, overall, not bad. And Legion's Collaborators, and Tears No More, um, Beta Colorado. Let's do Reward Loyalty. Unlike the Legion, we do not rely on uh, fear to rule. A deal with the bear can be lucrative, perhaps even more lucrative than doing business with the Legion. At least we don't crucify merchants for failing to deliver. Extend the military uh, presence. As more and more troops are now pouring into Arizona, we can extend military presence to the whole region without any opposition. Someone else says, I'm guessing it's a full waste on conquest. Probably not for this one. Uh, hungry for more. The bear is hungry for more, more lands, more territories, more resources. When the bear roars, the way sun trembles. Um, so, yeah. And then, we're going to do Chop Chop Expands. Satan didn't just help the bishops, they also gave the Chop Chop Axe capital to expand. Good news for anyone wishing to buy a car. Confront the Steel Menace, like I read earlier. If you want to read about this again, please go right ahead. Tier 9 Taxation. I think I read this earlier, so if you're going to do that too, please go right ahead. And we'll also do the one about New Vegas up here, but let them up. 
The NCR is in the, is in the Mojave. To brand the world and the Republic want to take some time to make that happen. And here we are at now, everyone. Um, the Free Fighters have declared war on us, unfortunately. They're part of the old Rio Pact, so that's going to be god awful. Um, so, yeah. We're doing a taller New Vegas autonomy no more. For many years, we've let New Vegas prosper just outside of the clutches no more. Finally, we'll take the fight to the strip. The Republic must expand. As it should. So, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we have to fight all these guys. But we should do okay ish. Ish. So, we'll see. Um, actually, these guys got really, really fast. Came all the way down here very quickly, which is very, very good. Um, please, guys, do not start losing down here. When you can, just start going. Uh, yeah, you might as well do that. Why not? What else are we gonna do? With, what else are we gonna do with this command power, right? It's going to turn triumphant. Oh, that's nice. Still building a crap ton of millies, though. I don't know why they went to war with us. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously, bros. We only have 211 divisions total. They have over 400. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is annoying. This is not very fun. Are you kidding me, guys? Come on. Why do we want all this territory? We don't. But we'll win in the end. No matter what, we'll probably win. So, um, yeah. And you see the Union would be nice. But we did finish off all this stuff. We didn't do some of this stuff, though. Bay New Mexico deprogramming the Legion. State Department. Bay New Mexico. Arizona. Well, so do the chop shop expands. Statehood didn't help just help the bishops. I also gave the chop shop access to capital expand. Good news for everyone wishing to buy a car. Taxation, of course, like I read earlier. Uh, so personal, personal though. This is annoying. This is very annoying. Why would they want to go to war with us? Here, not really too much. I've been playing this for like four hours now. Like this is this is a bit ridiculous. Um, I, maybe we should cut this down, but like that war took forever. Why are you separated by yourself? This is so stupid. Yeah, this is gonna be very annoying. I'm sorry. I'm feeling very negative about this campaign now. Like holy crap. And we got so many generals that are just so bad. Look how long it... Oh, my God. Yeah, Overblues have become a very laggy mod. So, uh, I'll be doing with this a lot of this off-screen, unfortunately, probably, like I did with everything else this campaign. Um, but, yeah, this is not great. <laughs> 24,000 manpower. Um, these guys have 26,000. These have 48,000, which is not as much as I thought they would. 15,000. I mean, we can beat them up. Don't get me wrong. We can definitely win here. Oh, we lost a division. Oh, well, that's the case. I murder every single one of these guys. Continually, again and again and again and again and again. You're gonna die here. I'm one division versus five, four. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong overall. Yeah, I hate these other states. I think they could do well. Well, I guess uh, as a consolation prize, if we do well here, which are our divisions even here? Like it doesn't make any sense. Why are you by yourselves over here? We lost three divisions over here. I'm screwing this up so badly, guys. I apologize. Um, but I've been playing this for four hours already. So we're going to keep busting and barreling through a lot of these focuses. Oh, look at this. Electoral gridlock. Oh, okay. Once elections are done. That's interesting. California crisis. Oh, I didn't even know there was more down here, too. Murphy most foul. So, um, yeah. Other than that, we've got pretty much all the other focuses done. Obviously, we're very close with finishing out this campaign for now. Take out New Vegas. I'll take out these Mexican guys as much as possible, but Fate of Arizona, most side of the Fate of Arizona, and New Mexico, and Colorado. Contact Goddard. Now old and weary, God was more of an elated of the news of an NCR victory. Now they control most of Colorado, they can focus on the research without any hindrance. We get the baggers. Um, we can only do settle the Mojave just because we don't have the cowboy countries, so we can't get them. I'd love to have the Arizona Ranger Corps, but settle the Mojave. Legion overran our fortifications across the Colorado River for years. Where the victory against the Legion scared, sound restore a ruler to the other side of Colorado. Which would be nice. Um, after that, now we can do ideals of the Federation. Restore the Summers Federation as a republic, granting them all territories we directly own in New Mexico. And they get a crap ton of territory. The Eastern Frontier, not bad. And unlikely heroes. Uh, they'll join us and be released as a puppet, of course. As we're just pretty much wrapping up a lot of the technologies here. Um, well, I mean, we'd go with Kimball. 
from the Department of External Affairs. Aggressive and uncompromising foreign policy. Few friends, many enemies. That's a price progress. We didn't get the baggers, though. Because we're all over here now, too. And we have the baggers over here. Led by Henry Johnson. So, um, there's that. It's kind of weird that... Where are the dogs? Whatever. Um, but yeah, we're looking pretty thick. We did fit, beat up those Mexicans and... God, that was annoying. Um, but it's done. <coughs> it is done. And what else? Got two? Cool, why not? Um, I don't really want more poppets. And it doesn't seem like we would. With, with uh, Algood Murphy, a big Bill Calhoun. We get Claim All Nevada. Uh, suppress progress. We're talking about progress. Unlikely heroes. Ideals of the Federation. I don't really want another state. If we're going to do states, I want to have... Uh, like the state of Arizona. I want the state of New Mexico, the state of Colorado, the state of Nevada, Utah. Um, and actually, this one's, this stuff says it will be implemented in a future update. It kind of sucks. But, you know, the devs are still working on this. I'm not going to be opposed to them doing that. We have to own Boulder, huh? Oh. Well, then. Looks like we got another conflict on our hands. As we're still trying to rally more support for this. Trying to get... More tension between us and these guys is taking just forever. My goodness. It, it takes us so long. Uh, the quote of the renewal. A gecko, a religion that promised salvation to all ghoul kinds spread amongst its citizens. More and more of them travel to gecko seeking salvation. And annoyance. But useful for encouraging the growth of unophisticated in industries in that little town. That's not bad. Uh, but we can go to war with New Vegas. So let's go grab you guys first. Because you guys have the uh, special rangers. So. That'll be fine. <coughs> Very nice, very nice, very nice. And just a lot of tech. A lot of tech getting done. Hopefully we can beat up Mr. House. Hopefully. Settle Mojave. Oh, the cult of renewal. Of course, eventually we'll be able to do a new state of the Union. When the Bo Republic was founded, it was composed of five states. The Boneyard, Hub, Dayglow, Maxon, and Shady Sands. Now, we're finally ready to add another to our sprawling Republic. Let's make it formal. Gain cores on any and all of these territories. Cores all states all scored by Vegas. Nice. Welcome into the Republic. Whether they like it or not. Other than that, we've pretty much done every single focus that's possible, except for, like, the, the few here. Electoral grid block, of course, like we said earlier. Enabling Act. Wait, the Enabling Act? Is that a Germany thing? Huh. California Crest, of course. But we'll go figure that one out. We'll, we'll get Boulder as well. Um, wait. We, we have to own Boulder, but that's in Colorado. Tension changed by 10%. It's not bad. And liberty enlightening the world, of course, as well. Ideals of the Federation, unlike the heroes. Eh. Well, settle the Mojave. We're settling it. Honestly, it makes more sense to me for us to do the Eastern Frontier, because as much as I want to do the Ideals of the Federation, we, we settle the Mojave. We settle. We're staying there. And this is our Eastern Frontier. So I think this is probably the best one for us for now. Despite the distance, we need not to relinquish our control of New Mexico. Instead, we'll empower our sympathizers in the area, turning New Mexico to the Eastern Frontier. But in the meantime, let's have a little bit of fun. Vegas. Yes, we did have an aggression pact. But now we don't. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's playing situation. Not bad. <coughs> Maybe a little better, but not bad. Uh, no, I, I want to do it alone. Fire salt. How many divisions they got? 50, 55? That's quite a bit. They're almost gone. Once you lose uh, New Vegas, it's uh, pretty much over. Oh, cut off. I love when we cut off enemies. Cutting off their limbs one by one. Never enough political power, though. Hey, 500 manpower lost. That's a lot of divisions stuck in there. All defeated. 633, 700, almost 800. Now it's Air Force Base. Oh, a thousand have died. A beautiful sight to behold. Beautiful. And come on back. Not bad. Not bad. Tension is now where? Um, 91%. 91.7. Cats expenses to go way up. Less construction speed. Way less political power. But we're actually losing political power. Holy cow. That's kind of nuts. Not going to lie. That's pretty That's pretty nuts. <coughs> then again, we never even had to go above peacetime uh, core. Which is pretty good. Look at all that manpower we do have too. So. Probably do Eastern Frontier. Uh, we'll do the New State of the Union. We'll do this one too. As well as probably cracking the boulder. Oh, Salvation though. Uh, let's do this one first. And uh, Smoking Reactor Gecko comes a dream. A dream that we can be reborn, that we can have skin as smooth as flesh, and stink no worse than anyone else. But consider, fellow ghouls, is not the real beautify on the inside, or beauty? Are we not already human? We're green, lean, we get used to it. 
Uh, let us learn to stand on our own two feet rather than apart. A spiritual and economic renewal. Cool. And cracking the boulder. Through, though our expedition has never been the means to meet, reach the information stored inside the Zax database, we managed to keep it running. We can finally repair the Zax mainframe and see what secrets are in store inside. Very cool. And here we have it, everyone. We're just having a little bit of fun with the glow bugs. Have a lot of green, usually. But, you know, overall not too bad with Com Commander, Commanding Officer, General Lee Oliver. I mean, I wish uh, <laughs> he didn't lose Mojave, but, you know, we all make mistakes, right? Right here, at this point, what is this? Deploy the cannons. Go and deploy the cannons. Can you deploy even more cannons? That would be very nice. Uh, couch so oh. oh, god, now it's glitched. Oh, oh kidding me. We're worth, obviously, the black cannons and glow bugs, which is fine. I just wish we could see the couch though. Um, drop the middle organization like there's no tomorrow. Nice. That's not bad. 250. Not bad. As we just finished Eastern Frontier. Very nice. And we did read about Kraken Boulder, but, well, you know, oh well, it is what it is. We'll get to it eventually, and, of course, the new State of the Union. Nothing like adding more states to the Union. Nothing like it. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, you need to kill some enemies, please. Thank you. Drop their strength. Drop everything about them. As we're working on more guns and cannons for our uh, Navy that we're probably not going to really use. But that's okay. Ah, <sighs> 0.52 political power. Isn't that great? Gotta love it. Investigate rumors, of course. Because yeah, of our barrages. We got plenty of barrages ready to go, so. Very active. Uh, sorry, active. That's nice. Uh, what else? I, do, I did grab a cup of coffee off screen as well, because I'm not an addict, I swear. <coughs> sure, you guys can come on in. Doesn't matter at this point. Um, where are we at for the this thing? Still 100%. Okay, interesting. 100%. That's weird that we have to do this. Take out Boulder. To get down here, but we need to own Boulder. Or is it supposed to be Boulder or is it supposed to be someone else? I guess technically we don't own it yet. The war's not over yet, but it'll be over soon enough. There you go. Not bad. Um, besides that one, is there any other focuses that we've missed so far? Oh, we can't do increase the Royal's taxes because the Royal's already fallen. We'll get a war goal to reclaim the area. But they have to exist for that. So that might want to be looked at again. I don't know. Because you get a war goal for whoever owns Arroyo's territories. I think that'd be for the best. But that's just me. 7,000 manpower. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. 65 divisions is quite a bit. Um, so how do we do this thing with... These guys. We'd be a piece. And more than 30 military factories, huh? Well, I'm still working on the military factories. They're 260, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty good. There's only so many factories we can throw on here, though. <clears throat> All right, how we doing? How we doing? Cunning Desert Fox, yes. I think that'd be quite appropriate for us. <coughs> uh, you know what? We can separate these guys up. That's fine. There you guys get over here. It's cross another region, another country, but whatever. I just don't want you getting circled here. That'd be the worst thing possible. And that would not be very good. No, 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 it would not. Five and six factories now. Not bad. Anything there? Not really. I wish it wasn't glitched. Yeah, these guys are tinkle. Oh, actually, they're moving pretty darn, pretty darn quickly. 20 kilometers per hour, that's pretty nice. 40 kilometers per hour. Road edition. It helps have roads, it really does. The base is 15. The lowest base is 2.8. God dang, they're hightailing through here, I love it. Move with conviction, everybody. Keep deploying them cannons. They can do it too, why not? We're gonna be peace in my military factories, so. Hey, we only need 16 more. We'll get there. We'll definitely get there. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had, like I said earlier, a really bad cough for a while now. It's not very good for us. Not very good. And you're there, holy crap! Cut them off? Well, I guess you're not really cutting them off. We start splitting these into two, which would be very good for us as well. Battle plan, brown bear. 
That takes another, another 120 days. Holy crap. So we're in 288 already. Holy god. Holy cloudy daddies. Here. Not bad. And the division died. Good job. No, oh, Casper. Who is this? Penance Seekers. Glow Cradle. Damn Busters. Drama Dramate. Two peoples. Old believers. Ar Arborg Junta. The Darned. Stained Backs. Is that Steinbeck? Steinbeck. Oh, my back isn't stained with anything. But Standing Rock looking like they done real good. Chapel Wagner. Kit Fox Warrior. Chief of Chiefs. Oh, that's cool. North oh, the cons are up here. Uh, Amgallon. Whoa. Raider Rays. Ah, nothing there. Wow, we finished up all the naval stuff. Holy crap, we finished up pretty much all the plane stuff. And we got stuff, still assault to do too, though. Keep going on in, you're doing a great job. Blow them up a little harder if you can. Um, you know, do some of this stuff too, because you can. Because why not? Oh, uh, good, good, good. Good. Yeah, beat him up. You guys will be fine. Is we're wrapping him up there. We're wrapping up that, these guys down here. What's not the love? <coughs> Bitchin' sure, why not? I'll be slightly peaceful towards him. That's a lot of divisions. No wonder we're struggling up here. But nothing we can't do to take him out. The penitentiary. As we're coming up from the south. Ah, did we get him? Looks like we did. All right, so now can we do this focus? Yes, we can. Nice. Well, let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get a mini nuke or maybe plasma or vertebra schematics. Ooh, that'd be nice. Can we do this one? Yeah, we can. Liberty and lightning the roll. Give me all in desperate straits. Your huddled masses yearn to breathe free. The wretched refuse who once face hate. Send these a homeless tempest tossed to me. We'll lift our lamp beside the golden gate. I hope we lift in something. Goodbye. Lily. Now yeah, it's lost around. Lost Hills Bunker. Have a good time. Sing Kumbaya. You know. Oh, we can do White Wolf. 900? Oh. We don't need Brown Bear. Okay, so I didn't know we... Okay, interesting. Mojave Chapter, Mojave Territory. We need New Vegas, Aurelius' Legion, Dushi, New Reno, The Divide, Bale Bandits. And 100% 100 tension. In comparison to Blue a Hawk and Black Cobra, White Wolf is relatively modest. It proposes that a single detachment, even with support, isn't enough to defeat the Brotherhood by itself and White Wolf. Detachments are sent from Navarro and San Francisco and circle Los Hills so that they can't retreat into the mountains. For this to work, we need to make sure that all of our important flanks are accounted for, as it leaves most of the NCR's military fighting into the homeland. It's preferred by the moderates of the Republic, although all good has always felt that diplomacy is a better solution for dealing with the Brotherhood. Or we just do this one. If we did get 900 political power anyways, we might as well go for 1200 to get and cheat. For so. Brown Bear is the oldest and simplest of the NCR dispensers to take out Lost Hills, dating back to shortly after we met the group. It simply involves the NCR sending the entirety of its armed force into the mountains to deliver a decisive strike to the Brotherhood, and ages past before we were put in the political situation we are now, this seemed impossible, but to accomplish it, now it need to be at a size big enough that nobody would even risk threatening us during the siege. And we have a total of one day's left for our Brown Bear. And I don't think this is going to be too difficult. They've got like, what, 15 divisions max? We've got some Mr. Handys now too. Chop Chops. And Lost Hills Bunker, we can't actually even do anything diplomatic with them. Brotherhood of Steel, or is it? Uh, let's pull out just a little bit. Let's take a look here. There are a, still a crap ton of nations. Holy crap. Um, let's go West Coast. Of course, there's us. 
Uh, Lost Hills. Oh, they're just called Lost Hills. They're not even the Brotherhood of Steel anymore. They're just Lost Hills. Oh! Well, that's why we do it. You never know what's going to happen. They just take all this stuff. Okay. Interesting. Let's go! Well, I didn't think that would happen. Um, of course, there's us. It's by Sporkers. Um, about a thousand, led by Tony. 22 divisions max, not bad. Do they even have. They don't. Why do they get all this stuff? They don't even have. a cord. Well, it makes it really easy for us, don't get me wrong, but still. I put literally thousands of planes on our armies, so. Very odd. Capture all bunk, and they're gone! Some deemed it impenetrable, others deemed the conquest of it too bloody to even be uh, tempted. But both they both initially seemed to have been proved wrong. After a single day of somewhat underwhelming fighting, new California Republic troops began the attack in the early hours of the morning. It was a tough, bloody fight. Nearly every member of the bunker believed uh, being given a gun to attempt to fight off the invaders. Uh, elders, scribes, and paladins working together to give their lives for what mattered. In the end, Los Hills was snuffed out. Its corpse bare for the NCR to pick over. Expelling the brother from Los Hills was worth the cost. Oh, well, there's lost some stability, but that's okay. Um, we do have assault carbines too, which is very nice. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for us. I'm um, usually at the end of the campaign. I I kind of got used to like, oh, and here's the end of the campaign, end of the story for now, just because I played a lot of other mods and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I know I've been very kind of like grumpy during this episode, so I apologize about that. It's just that I've been playing this for five hours. Okay, anyways, for five hours. Holy crap. But, if you enjoyed the campaign, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Um, I'm going to be playing the NCR at least one, two, uh, three, four more times, because there's going to be different routes we can take and stuff like that. There might actually be another route that I don't know anything about yet, but that's in due time. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great, great, great rest of your day.